Hey, this is Scott with the Scotch Test Dummies, and I wanted to do our own U.S. version of Jesus Cold. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. That's better. Anyway, I'm Scott with the Scotch Test Dummies, and a good buddy of ours, Roy, whose channel is Aqua Vitae. Um, I'll put a link down in the comments. You can go watch his video. He does a 15 uh, whiskeys in 10 minutes review um, at his recycling bin. And so we, we can touch on uh, the bottles that we've drank um, and give kind of a recap of them. We've had time to do the whole bottle. Um, the only thing with uh, Aqua Vitae is he's in Scotland. He's got a great accent. He uses terms like bloke, blimey, crikeys, whoopsie daisies. I don't even know what those things are. Maybe they're soccer terms. I don't know. What I wanted to do though is bring to our US and Canadian watchers a more down to earth home type feel review of 10 whiskeys in 10 minutes. So West Cork 10, it's an Irish whiskey. It's aged 10 years, only ex bourbon barrels and a great example of what a nice, no wine finishing, uh, triple distilled Irish whiskey, only aged in ex-bourbon barrels, brings a nice smooth creaminess and uh, vanillas. The bottle of Wow, says, oh, there's still some left in this one. I'm just saying. Mm. Elijah Craig bottle of wow. This one was 69.7%. Just a glorious example of what a bourbon should be. It's just rich and full. Brings all the cinnamons and the caramels. That high ABV. Woo, that was a good one. The, this is the older bottling. No longer available. Um, the new one's coming in about 64, 65%. I give the edge to this one, but just barely. <laughs> Glen Livet Nadura, peat at the cask. And a little bit left in this one too. Hmm. Wow. Uh, uh. Bart was totally surprised by this one. Nice peat, the Glen Livet honeys citrus vanillas it's just been in a cask that used to hold peated whiskeys strong peated whiskeys that's very good hopefully we can get some more of this one the McAllen 12 year out of my favorite my favorite 12 year still to date um, we did a top five 12 year scotch whiskeys Matt McAllen 12 year Still one of the best 12 years you can find. $50 range. We got a little bit left in this one too. <sighs> nice sherry finish. Just a good example of what 12 years in a Oloroso sherry cask brings. Also in that list, also in that list is the Glen Farkless 12. And nice slight sherry finish with this one as well. Not as rich as the McAllen, but nonetheless holds its own in that top 12 list. And I buy this one again. Hmm. It's, it's so warm. Glen Forkless. This is a Glen Forkless. 12 year. God. I don't know how much more of this I can do. Lagavulin 16. Ron Swanson's favorite. One of our favorites. Peated. Cherry cast. And there's a little bit of this one left here. Nice, rich peat, oak, citrus. Whew, this is tougher than I thought. I don't know how Roy does this one. Uh, 
Sag Jr. Another great bourbon. The 66.2% alcohol. It's getting hot. And a good example of a bourbon as well. I'm just gonna set this one here for a little bit. That's okay. It's okay. I gotta, I'm gonna have to sit down. Ball, ball glare 99. I'm sorry, Ball Blair. Ball Blair. Ball Blair 99. This was Bala in 2017. That's 12 years. That's 12 years. 99 to 99 to 7. No, 13 years. That's this was a 14-year-old Ball Blair. 99, 46%. This was sent to us by Keith. Alta Man Cave, and he did a great job. <laughs> yeah. Now, this one, no wine cask finishing, just ex bourbon, it was a wonderful dram. I don't think I'd buy this one again. Lay down here for a little bit.